Okay, our colleague Dixon County Commission meeting to order the March 31st, 2016 meeting. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, approval of the agenda. Uh, we, we had uh, no additions, but if you have some additions or discussion, if not, all in favor of approving the agenda? I move that we approve the agenda. Okay. And we did add the utilities that Barb gave us right before our meeting onto the consent agenda. So I move we approve that agenda. Okay. Second. Good move and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. The consent agenda would be the minutes of the March 24th work session and regular meeting. Abatements of $51.20. Uh, KDHB payment for health insurance is $111,627.12. And, and we do have the utilities of $7,511.00. And 55 cents. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? I'd move that we uh, accept the consent agenda as, as presented. Second. Is there any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, we're ready for commissioner's comments. Uh, Craig, do you want to start? Yeah, Janelle and I went to uh, Roy Hill Zoo uh, last week with the uh, I'm NODO meeting with uh, Doug McKinney from the North Central Regional Planning Commission. It was a two-day conference. I was only there one day. You know, went both <coughs> days. I did attend a township night uh, last Monday night, and I'm heading to Beloit today for the North Central Regional Planning Commission. Two o'clock. That's all. Okay. Thank you, Craig. Uh, Lynn. I also attended the township night, and that's about the only thing I had. And I just mentioned um, there were about 70 people there. That also included, um, you know, Barb, I know you were there, and, and Brad and various ones in the commission um, of staff. I think there are but, but a good number of the township people, and it gives a good chance to communicate on what some of the concerns are and, and issues. So it's a good gathering. Yeah. Yes, I also attended the township meeting. Uh, I thought the presentations were good, and uh, I think the... Uh, Township representatives really do like our breakout sessions where it gives them an opportunity to give us uh, feedback also. And, uh, also, uh, yesterday went up to the, uh, the Salina Farm Show. Uh, there was a fairly good crowd there in the afternoon. Uh, it's always interesting to see new things that are coming out. It's uh, for me, it's more of a social time to get to get together and visit with with neighbors sometimes. So uh, that they, uh, like I say, it seems like they do get a lot of vendors there. So uh, it gives you the opportunity to to look at the vendors. Presentations of petitions, proclamations, and other public comment. I guess we have none today. Report from the county. Uh, Brad, uh, you want to start your report? Sure. Uh, on your note sheet or briefing sheet, uh, I attached the uh, results of the evaluations for the township uh, meeting Monday night. Uh, you know, we had 17 people that filled out evaluations, so uh, out of the 50 or so that attended that were township board officers, 51 actually. So it gives you a little idea of what 17 people felt. Um, I did have several come up to me afterwards personally and express uh, their interest in the, in the jail presentation. And the budget presentation thought it was pretty beneficial. 
Uh, they had no idea that we had, we were facing issues like we were. And I guess that was our goal was to try to enlighten them. I know it's not a township issue. We need that going in, but it is a it is a county issue, and we felt like probably they they could benefit from that. So, but all in all, it was a, it was a good evening, I think. So. Uh, we talked a little bit about the Flint Hill Transit Board, and I'll, I'll get with Jane, and we'll, we'll get something figured out on that. But uh, next Wednesday is our North Central Kansas County Highway Officials Association meeting in Washington. Uh, registration is from eight to nine. Uh, I need to be there at eight o'clock or so to, to get things set up, and so I'll be leaving probably about seven o'clock from here. If anyone wants to join me, certainly welcome to. Um, and it goes until about 2.30 or 3, depending mm -hmm. on how we do the speakers on it, we got lined up, so. Question for you, Brad. Yeah. Uh, I probably will be attending, but I'm not sure, so is there any, if I don't attend, do I need to make a decision or not? No, we'll just okay. we'll go ahead and RSVP you, and, okay. and if you don't, it's no okay. big deal, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to try to make the effort to go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Martin and John had met uh, some time ago with Apex Shears. I think we I briefed you on that. Uh, we were, you know, we got uh, in our, our bid prices this year for our overlay from Detroit to Chapman. We got a really good bid price, uh, $49 a ton for asphalt. Mm -hmm. uh, and. The guys had met with them in Slime and approached him and said, would you, essentially what we were saying is, would you uh, do a change order on your contract for this year and add on that you would hold that same price for us after the first of the year to do from Abilene to Solomon. You remember we talked about that. And uh, they said, yeah, I'd have to do a little checking because that might, might be tough for them to do, but we didn't get back early this week. They agreed to do that. So, okay. uh, we, you know, if we can hold that price and hold the use the same contract as this year, now we're in that contract through, and then when we get into next year's budget money, we've got the money coming in, we'll be able to to do that, the overlay from Solomon to Abilene. So that might, I should know how many miles is that going to be then, Brad? It'll be about five miles, five, five, five to six miles. Okay, I thought maybe a little farther than that. Yeah. yeah. So how many miles? From Enterprise on that Chapman would be doing this. Detroit year. to Chapman. Detroit, I mean. I think that's six. So it, seven. Uh, about, it's about six. Yeah. Okay. So they're both yeah. close to being similar. Yeah. So, but I think it's about six from 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 where we would start the overlay to where we would start right. the other way. So, but we were really tickled that we could hold that price and then extend that contract uh, and keep it open for that period of time. Because that literally would save us, could, could save us hundreds of thousands of dollars on that if, if we were to go out to bid again and the prices fluctuated and I doubt they're going to go down. So, uh, diesel fuel this week, we had to uh, get bids on that and uh, $1.47 was Robson, $1.49 was MKC. Uh, so, obviously, we went with Robson. Uh, I'm working on the K Camp risk uh, reduction grant uh, from talking to Martin and and some of the other people uh, on the in, in the department, one of the things that we felt would be that is our highest exposure, highest risk is uh, and, and maybe one situation that we've had in the past where we somebody backed over a vehicle was we would uh, see if they would purchase uh, rear view cameras and uh, monitors to go into tractors so that the operators that are mowing and then the operators in our blades can always see what's behind them without looking to the rear. Uh, we've had a couple instances over the years, one just a couple of years ago as you remember where the blade was working and, and <coughs> the driver drove up behind them too close and didn't realize that they couldn't see him mm -hmm. over the back of the blade and backed up into the vehicle. So uh, with the mowers, uh, to me that's the highest exposure we have as they're coming in and out, weaving out in the road, out around the signs and, and bridges and things and culverts, the, you know, they can see what's behind them and, and uh, avoid, hopefully avoid something. So that's a $2,000 grant. We can get four of them for $2,000, four systems, okay. and then our guys will install them. So. Well, then not only that, though, Brad, I mean, you got to keep looking over your right shoulder, left shoulder. I know what that's like. Yeah, yeah, and that's the other thing. I actually mentioned that in the grant application is 
I know K camp is for liability, but for health purposes, you know, <laughs> when you're looking to turn constantly for eight hours a day, uh, then you end up with neck and back issues that. Uh, well, the. And if you're hurting like that, then you end up not turning and looking, and that that is. The. This will eliminate part of that problem. So. The mirrors and tractors usually doesn't cover the area that this camera probably would because actually when you're looking in the mirror it's usually adjusted to see just roads traffic right. straight behind you and you really don't see the more operation going until you actually have to look. And Martin tells me that the new graders or blades that you buy now come equipped with that standard in it. So. Okay. But anyhow, that, that's what we're going to apply for. I have no reason to think that it won't, uh, won't be a, approved. So, um, Martin is still looking for a truck. You know, we talked about that a while back. We sold that one ton a while back on Purple Wave, and we've never gotten one to replace it. What he would like to do is, re is get a, uh, a little bit bigger one than the one ton that, one ton that could pull any of the, either the, the dump bellies or the, the gooseneck that we bought or any of that stuff. They do have one located, it's actually up in Nebraska at the dealership <coughs> that fits our fleet, if you will, and our equipment that we can service and it's a pre-emission vehicle. And I think he and Andy are going to run up Monday and look at it. So um, we'll see how it turns out. The same company had another one there several weeks ago and by the time the guys got with them, they'd already sold it. So. The guys assured him that the one he's got coming in now will fit the criteria and he will hold it until he come look at it. So. Okay. Uh, then uh, the last thing I had was uh, Goldberg Group. They have already contacted me and want to come in and meet with you guys uh, for an interview and then start interviewing the different departments. Uh, he talked like about a 45 minute to an hour meeting with you and we could do that in a work session I think without any problem unless you want to do it outside the work session. But, uh, <laughs> kind of get a feel for, for what would, the needs are. I would say we could, I mean, it'd be nice to do in our work session, but, you know, if they want to get here at 8 o'clock and get started and spend the whole day here. Yeah, know, and they talk like they would like, you know, I mean, like than, to schedule so they could, it would right. probably take them two days to get through everybody. Yeah. I mean, so, rather than starting at 9 o'clock with us or quarter after, or we, could move our, we, could, we could move our work session up to 8 o'clock. Okay. I mean, that's... Yes. Okay. Whatever they can arrange. Yeah. I'll get with them. Probably the, the what day we do that will depend a little bit on when Judd Sexton and, and uh, yeah, of his group are available on their schedule. Cause, and, and it's a little bit tighter. Right. Not quite as easy to move. So, But I'll try to set it up you know, for <coughs> one of the next two Thursdays. And, and if they want to come in and start at 8, 8 o'clock with you guys, be first, we'll work that out. So. Well, then. Going back to the, the the court services, I mean, I I can only speak for myself, but uh, you know, if it doesn't work for them, that you know, because they're more tied to what they have to do, the judges, I I'd have no problems coming in on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or a Friday. On off day. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Appreciate that. That's all I've got today. So. Okay. Any more discussion on Brad's report? No, I can't. Okay, we're going to. Uh, no, Doug. Oh, you I got have anything? Thank you. Okay. Notices of communications. Um, I don't, did did all of you get this invitation from the community foundation? I have. It's for April twenty second. I think. Yeah, they're they're having the community foundation. The Dixon County Annual Meeting, and uh, it's on April the 22nd, 6 o'clock for the social and dinner, and 7 o'clock for the program. So, I guess uh, if any of us are going, we can let Brad know to make the reservation or make it on your own. I would imagine it will fill up pretty fast, so no problem. Yeah. I plan on going, but I'll check with Paula to see if she's going to attend also, and then I can reimburse the county or, okay. or give you a separate check, however you want to do that. <clears throat> oh, I, I should be available. I'm on the board, but I, I, don't, I think I might have something else. Well, I might have something else. I okay. can't remember. I left my phone out in the, my truck. 
Um, just text me or call me. Okay. Email okay. Me yeah, I'll let you know uh, with them. I'm sure I'm going to get an invitation. So. Okay. Well, yeah, the sign. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go thank them. So. That's right. Hey, I like that brick. I still like that brick. <laughs> Okay, we we did get uh, a thank you note. Uh, it's for Dickinson County for the donation to the Harrington After Prom event. Prom is very special for students, and it is the goal of the Harrington After Prom committee to provide a safe and fun in, in, in ending for those attending. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for helping to make our students safe while having fun. These students will experience a night filled with food, games, and prizes. We are grateful that you that we live in a community that supports our children in this way. And that was uh, kind regards from the Harrington After Prom Committee. The only other communication we had uh, was our, our uh, national uh, Association Counties uh, newsletter. Uh, we have no resolutions today. Uh, is there any other unfinished business today? Any other business today? I guess we're ready for adjournment. It was. I move we adjourn. Second. Been moved and seconded. We adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried.